Hello everybody, this is Kai Aesthetics with another video of Dragonair Silent Gods. Guys, another week and the developers gave you some positions. But I'm not sure if I'm going to agree exactly what the plan that they have in mind. But I'm going to show you here right now what they said in terms of the soul in print. Look at this. Uh, one of the quests for part of the community, the guy asked it. I would like to know if there will be other uses for surplus soul imprints in the future because I hope to make use of my excess soul imprints after I've I've uh, I've maxed out the inspiration for my legendary heroes. Well, probably this player here is one of the whales in the uh, that are playing the game. You know, and they this guy here, differently from the the, the free to play players. You know, probably he has loads of of soul prints available because he got plenty of dope legendary heroes. Okay, that's that's exactly what it, what it is. You know, but uh, the developers uh, said that they they received the, the feedback part of this player regarding this issue. We are playing adjustments where so plus so in prints will be usable usable in exchange for some nice skins why are you gonna exchange so in prints to skins what is the point right here like i just i just i just would like to know this idea because seriously the skin the skins that probably they're gonna add in the game it won't help you in anything or to help you to give extra damage or extra defense or whatever what it is. It's just like a static. Why I gonna sh go and, ch and exchange my soul, my soul imprint into uh, appearance, into skins? You know, there's no point right here, right? You have to think properly about this. Like, you have to be more logical than ever. Anyway, this is my position, guys. This is one of the things, okay, that I could be able to feel in terms of the, the message. Another thing here, let's see. They said another thing here. Uh, let's go here. They said that oh, uh, they said about a new milestone, okay. Uh, probably they are going here. They are saying that you are receiving your suggestion. Currently, we are developing new milestone system. I hope that they can improve it like that for sure. You know, if they're gonna improve the milestone in the game, that can be better even between staminas and give a little bit more resources for each milestone. That's going to be great. You know, I hope that they can do that. You know, because the player here, he he said that can no longer check the schedule. Uh, and availability of many events now that we are halfway through the season, you know. So they are they said that they're going to improve this. And another thing that they said here that I saw that it kind of interesting is about the is about here is the pool of heroes. So currently there are too many heroes available, making it difficult for me to choose which pool uh, to draw from. Well, uh, actually this is very strategic, you know, so if they improve in a way that's possible, you, we have legendary, uh, dupe legendary hero is going to be better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you an example here, but uh, before before I bring here, I uh, just would like to show you guys what exactly is the Soul Spring, okay? The Sui Spring, if you come here to exchange, is exactly this resource here. We see this Soul Spring imprint here is possible to get legendary artifact, okay? But I don't see that I don't see any point to exchange for appearance for skin or whatever what it is, you know. That's no point here, you know. Now, in terms of uh, the events, for sure that sh like if they bring something better, could be good. I give you an example right here, as you guys can see here. If I go and I pull heroes, try to pull legendary heroes, draw this pool right here, I I have a big possibility to have a dupe hero. That's good for me because I already have a rose, I have Cinero, I have a Daphne. F Daphne, right? Yeah, Daphne. I have Daphne, I have a, uh 
Zephy. So I have a five heroes, even Reaper are here. So I have a five heroes from this pool. So the, the, the there are big chances for me to get a dupe of a legendary hero. That consequently you help you will help me to get a legendary artifact, right? So and, and and like if you guys know well about the game, if you get legendary artifacts, it's going to improve your performance in the game. It's like it's gonna you are going to have the double, the triple of the performance that you already have uh, if you are only using epic artifacts, you know. So legendary artifacts is a big thing here, you know, when you talk about the Dragonair. So uh, this is exactly uh, where the most inter interesting part of the of the of the news you know the position part of the developers that i thought that's more interesting there are some other things i've seen that uh some players uh, give a position to them not release much hero between one season to another I do not agree with that actually uh, they should bring more rare heroes and epic heroes to improve more the game to give more possibilities to uh, free to play players play well the game you know because when you talk about Feymander or Peel of Trials the things get very hard over right there if you have a proper and good epic hero for that scenario is going to be good instead of you having legendary heroes okay i i i just like a, just like to give this position to put this position here in terms of, uh, of these things because i believe that they have to bring more heroes you know between all the elements to help mainly free to play players and not only uh uh give opportunity to people that uh, uh always put some money into the game okay that's my position right here anyways guys if you like my video uh like the video subscribe right here click the notifications you know thank you very much for who is supporting me uh let's build all this community together this is my brand new channel and see you in the next video bye bye Dungeons and Dragons Legends in Dragonair. Universe.